Hello, everybody. Um, I spent some time this week working with uh, a process that we have that's called KMD. Um, and I wanted to, um, we'll just share a video and kind of show you what I did and also walk through the code really quickly um, so you can get a sense of what it's like to create wallets on Algorand. Um, there's also a corresponding post with this as well. So, uh, well, to start, um, Algorand has two main processes on the Algorand protocol. Uh, they are AlgoD and KMD. So one is the Algorand daemon and the other one is the key management daemon. So KMD, as the name implies, is primarily responsible for uh, key management and signing of transactions. Uh, this process can also run on separate machines for maximum security. And uh, KMD basically just provides an API uh, that can be used to create new keys, um, updating, update existing ones, and also uh, sign transactions as well. So let's actually clean this up. So the post that I'm writing, uh, let me just bring this over so you can see it. Uh, is this generating secure crypto wallets and accounts uh, with Python? So I have these code snippets here in the article. Uh, we will be publishing this soon. Um, so you can follow along here. And my code will also be on GitHub. And I'll link that at the bottom of the article. So you can just um, clone that and, 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 and work with it that way. Uh, so two things you need before we get started uh, is you need to have a, let me bring this over here. You need to have um, a node running. You need to have KMD started as well. So let me bust out of here. So you can either do it with uh, Sandbox. I'm a fan of using, of using Sandbox, uh, which I have in this window here. Um, and if you want to learn more about Sandbox, just look at the Algorand Medium articles. And there's one that I wrote about getting started on Algorand and running a node using Sandbox, which um, allows you to bootstrap uh, from an S3 snapshot either to mainnet, uh, testnet, or beta net. And for our purposes, of course, um, we're gonna be using testnet. So uh, just make sure that you've got uh, uh, your node running. So I'm just running gold node status here to make sure that's correct. Now we're not gonna be making any, um, any we're, we're not gonna be posting anything to the actual network here. We're not gonna be sending transactions. We're just gonna be working locally. Uh, but in my params, I do have a couple lines that search for your algod.token and algod.net files, which can be found. Uh, let me just show you where those can be found. Yeah, token, oh, block. token, and then algod.net. Uh, so just make sure that's running. Um, and then the other thing you're gonna have to do definitely is make sure that KMD has been started. So uh, you can do that using goal as well. Um, let me just see where I am. Yeah, you can do that uh, using goal. So goal, KMD, and I've, I've already started it, but I believe you can run status on this. Let's see, goal, KMD status, uh, my data directory flag. No, I guess not. So just go ahead and make sure that KMD is started. KMD successfully started. Uh, and you should be good to go. So um, again, you can go to GitHub and clone my uh, repository there. And you'll have this nice params file that you can work with, uh, which is here. I've commented out some unnecessary code, but uh, it's basically all this. So uh, you know, the most simple tasks first is I'm just, I'm just going to run the code so you can see what it looks like. And the article explains what's going on. So let's run this. So this is generating a standalone account. Um, now there's differences. This is not a KMD generated account. This is a standalone account. Uh, and the point here is, is that we can generate standalone accounts and then import them into KMD later. So here you're gonna see the private key, uh, the mnemonic itself, uh, which is derived from the private key using this method here. Um, and then the uh, address is printed as well. So you get all the information uh, that you're looking for here in the output. So now we've generated uh, a standalone account. Let's go ahead and generate a KMD wallet um, and a corresponding KMD account uh, that is associated with that wallet. So this will be generate KMD wallet account. Great, so the wallet name is wallet one and you can pass in whatever name you'd like here as well as password. I would highly recommend that you change this to something else mm, and now You've also generated the new account using generate the generate key method. Um, and we, in this case, have deleted it as well. This is just a method call that I wanted to demonstrate. But um, if you're going to be running through these different um, example code snippets, go ahead and comment this out after you've run this code a few times, um, because you will need some accounts in your wallet to work with the rest of this code here. 
So now that we've generated a KMD wallet and a, and a, and a KMD account, let's, uh, let's, let's back up the account. So backing up means that you want to extract the mnemonic phrase that's associated with that account to import into a, into a different wallet somewhere else later at a different time. Uh, so let's do Python 3, backup, KMD account. Okay, so something I mentioned in the uh, the Medium article that will be important is this wallet handle. So um, a lot of the time when you're interacting with KMD, with your KMD wallet, you're going to need a wallet handle. And, and that's involved in several different method calls, in this case, uh, list key and um, an export key, which is what's used to get the private key, uh, which is then passed into the from private key method to get your mnemonic phrase that's printed here. Um, so... So uh, yeah, so that's that's happening here. So init wallet handle, you're going to see that continually throughout most of these code snippets, um, and that is what you is the method call you need to get your wallet handle and to um, to get the wallet handle, you have to pass in what's called the wallet ID, which is one of the um, metadata uh, one 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 part of the metadata set uh, that, that's associated with the KMD wallet. And once you get that, then um, then you can go ahead and um, and use the other method calls. And what I'm what I'm what I'm doing here basically is just looping through all the different wallets that I have in my in my KMD instance. So great, that's backing up a KMD account. Now let's go ahead and back up the actual KMD wallet itself. So um, Python three uh, backup KMD wallet. Great, so same thing. Um, the master derivation key uh, is kind of like the um, it's kind of like the end all be all of the KMD wallet itself. So uh, you will need the MDK to export the mnemonic phrase uh, of your of your KMD wallet. So now that we've backed up and have the mnemonic phrases for both our KMD a, a KMD account and a KMD wallet, uh, let's now see what we need to do to restore it. So now we want to restore a KMD wallet. So let's say uh, you now want to uh, move to a different air gap device or you simply want to instantiate uh, your KMD wallet somewhere else. Um, this is the process that uh, you would go through to actually make that happen. So let's run this first. Python 3, restore, yep. Okay, so I have to, um, so the wallet name has to be different than one you've used previously. So let's just change this to something else. Great, so now I have uh, restored or um, uh, imported my uh, KMD wallet and by doing that I've run the create wallet method here, passing in a wallet name, again a wallet password, and then uh, a master derivation key here. And then I generate an account that's associated with that wallet immediately here, uh, again by passing in that wallet handle that I just mentioned that again is extracted here by passing in the wallet ID into the init wallet handle method. So now let's do let's let's import a standalone account uh, into our KMD wallet. So what this means is uh, like the first um, code snippet that I ran, the generate an account. Uh, you generate an account uh, that's not associated with KMD, just a regular uh, account using Algo SDK. Um, and now you want to import that account into your KMD wallet. So uh, to do this, let's run this code. Import uh, standalone. Great, so wallet ID, wallet handle, the address, and now the mnemonic, and here's the account that was actually important. Uh, so, so an important caveat with this is that uh, if you create accounts inside of a KMD wallet and you restore the wallet um, elsewhere, you need to run uh, what's called the generate key method to do that. That's generate uh, key. Now, uh, running that uh, will create or regenerate whatever account you previously had created inside of that KMD wallet. So let's say you created three accounts inside of a KMD wallet, and now you want to restore that wallet on, on another device. Running this generate key method three times will generate those three accounts uh, um, for you. The caveat though is that if you imported a standalone account into a KMD wallet, um, that does not hold true meaning that um, you would have to import that with its mnemonic the same way you did the first time um, instead of this simple generate key method that you would be able to use um, 
because that wallet, because that account was not actually generated inside of that KMD wallet. If that's a bit confusing, it's explained in the in the in the article, and hopefully that would that would clear it up. Uh, so the final thing I want to show is importing a multi-sig uh, account into a KMD wallet. So let's run this. Python three import multi-sig. Great. So um, same thing. What we're doing here is again. You are extracting the wallet handle by running an it wallet um, handle method and passing in the wallet ID that was found just by looping through all the wallets that were available inside of my KMD instance and pulling out the one that's called wallet one and part of the metadata that's associated with the KMD wallet is this wallet ID. Uh, so that's passed in here and it wallet handle gets you the wallet, uh, get, get to the wallet handle. Here we are running a uh, gen generate account like you normally would to generate a, um, uh, a standalone account. And we do that twice to get two different um, accounts. And here we're generating the multi-sig object. So a couple of parameters that are important, uh, the version, the multi-sig version, and we just have version one right now. So this will uh, uh, always be one for now. Uh, threshold is one is how many signatures are necessary. So uh, it's if you have uh, three addresses and you want two of those three addresses to sign on any given transaction, then this would be two instead of one. Uh, this is creating the msig object and then importing the msig object into your into your uh, KMD instance here by passing in that wallet handle that we talked about earlier uh, up here and the msig object. And uh, this is just listing out the accounts in multi-sig. This is more just vanity. But this is the most important method call here to actually get the uh, multi-sig address imported into your uh, KMD wallet. So that should be all of the code snippets that's in this, um, that's in this Medium post. Uh, so if you have any questions about this, uh, please email me, sam at algorand.com, uh, or uh, even better would be to post in our forums um, where we have a lot more resources that can attend to your needs and to your uh, development questions. Thank you very much.